Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Excuse the appearance. I mean, I'm just about to jump in the shower, so I'm not gonna like get ready for you. I'm sorry. Today is gonna be a hair video testing out some of the Inculus hair products. All right, so the first thing that I picked up is the Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Scalp Scrub. Reading reviews, people said that, you know, it made their scalp less oily. Um, obviously, it's very good if you suffer with any like flakiness of the scalp. That's not really something I suffer with, but still I'm interested to see if it makes a difference you know between hair washes if it makes my hair last longer like that kind of thing we've also got um the PCA bond repair hair treatment I saw some good reviews on this um, on the cult beauty website and also it was out of stock for a while so when things go out of stock I'm like is this a good thing because usually that's a good sign then I was also intrigued by this so I picked up the hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment now I love a bit of hyaluronic acid for my face and I'm interested to see what it could do for the hair. I don't know. Right, let's go. Cool, it sounds really liquidy. I'm worried this is gonna like run all over me. Oh my God, if this goes on my face, I'm not gonna be happy. Oh, I'm just gonna put it through my hair like this. I don't know how much to put in. Am I putting too much? Someone's probably watching this thinking you're doing this so wrong. Oh yeah. Yeah, the bead's like really fine. Really fine. What's kind of hard though is you really can't feel the beads, but it's really hard to tell if you've like really properly covered your hair. Okay, I think that is good. So I'm just gonna leave that then in my hair for 10 minutes, wash it out, and then we'll see where we're at. It is actually more than a week later. I actually did get so ill after filming the last clip you saw. Literally within an hour, aches and pains just took over my body and then I was straight into bed and then I was literally out for like nearly a whole week with a flu. But anyway, I am better now and I'm here to finish off this video. I also used this today when I washed my hair, so I've now used this twice. And first impressions, I'm not really like blown over by it. I can't say I've noticed a huge difference in terms of like how long my hair lasts until the next wash. Like that kind of just stayed the same. And I'm also a little bit suspicious that this might be causing my scalp to be a little bit irritated. Um, this past week, I've noticed my scalp being really itchy and I never ever have that. Um, but it's not like in a, you know, an itchiness in like a, like a nits kind of sense. <laughs> it's like an itchiness in like a, my scalp feels a bit irritated kind of sense. Now something else to mention about this is it is called an exfoliating scalp scrub. And although yes, there is some little beads inside, Oh, to me they're very fine and I, I can't really feel that scrub action on my scalp at all um, for me with the exfoliating action I'm I'm relying more on the glycolic acid to hopefully be doing its job but yeah at this moment in time my first impressions of this I'm not really that impressed with it so far okay let's get some product on this hair because it is drying and going frizzy very quickly okay so the hyaluronic acid treatment you can apply to dry hair so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the piece PCA bond repair first because this one you do need to apply it to towel dried hair. Am I missing something? Why is this not working? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh god, it's a bit of a weird old dodgy spray. There we go, that's better. Activate the pump. Um, okay, it says spray on towel dried hair covering all of your hair, excluding your scalp. So don't put this on the scalp. Focusing particularly on more damaged areas. What I always like to do is I like to put some in my hands. I really, really hate this spray. Oh my God, this spray is awful. And then we'll just run that through the hair. Okay, I'm gonna give my hair a quick blow dry and I'll see you when I'm done. <laughs> like being a Debbie Downer on things but I just have to be honest I'm not enjoying this product so far it's it's just making my hair feel a little bit tacky and I mean other products I normally use like at this point of my hair when I'm blow drying it like my hair will be feeling like silk right now like really soft and shiny and you know just yeah really really lovely but this has just made my hair I don't know it feels a little bit tacky. Okay, 
Okay, so I am going to go through it again after I apply this hydrating treatment. But yeah, just still same thoughts. Like, I just feel like even the movement in my hair, like, it's all moving as a block, I feel like. Like, even when I go like that, as an example, like, normally my hair would just kind of fall off my fingers because my hair is so, like, silky and soft. But when I do it at the moment, like, my hair, my fingers kind of almost get a little bit caught in it. And it's just... I don't know, it's just tackiness. I'm, I'm, ooh, I don't like it. So we have got the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Hair Treatment. It says it's a frizz control serum, which I definitely am always looking for with my hair because my hair does get quite frizzy quite easily. So the best result, shake the bottle well before use and then pour into the palm of your hand, massage hands together and work through wet or dry hair. Thinly coat all of your hair, leave on style as usual. Okay, I'm gonna start off with less and then I'll add more if I need it. So I'll just use what I normally would use of a serum. Okay, it doesn't really have a smell. Oh, it's very thin, oh gosh. It's like, it's, it's kind of like almost a little bit thicker than water, like it's a very, very thin serum. Now I'm wondering whether I've actually used too much. Oh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Give it a go, we're gonna roll with it. This feels very, very wrong because, because <laughs> it's so thin, it's almost like water-like. It feels like this is now gonna completely make my hair really frizzy. Okay, my hair seems to have literally just drunk that up. Um, like it feels like it probably could do with a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a tiny touch more and I'm gonna concentrate it on the under parts of my hair because that is where I get the most frizz. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like. Let's just turn to the back quickly. I'm just gonna be totally honest, as I always will be on this channel, I am not a fan. Um, so the hydrating serum, let's just quickly do a little review on this one. I don't like the consistency of it, it's far too thin for my liking, I like something a little bit, like with a little bit more weight that's going to really help seal my hair, um, kind of add that shine, um, and yeah, just kind of lock the style in and really help ward off that frizz. This for me, it's too thin, it's too watery like, um, I almost feel like, I mean I'm sure ingredient wise, you know, the technology's there hydrate the skin and the skin sorry this hair um but for me because it's so watery like it just feels very counterproductive with my frizzy hair um and i kind of almost did feel like as soon as i applied this like my hair now i wouldn't say it necessarily feels really frizzy but it just it doesn't feel great like it's not feeling really like smooth and sleek like it would with other defrizzing serums i use I feel like overall, right this second, my hair feels like it has a lot of product build up in it. So I just overall just really am not liking how my hair's feeling. Maybe I did overuse the PCR bond treatment a little bit. Let me know in the comments if that is the case because I feel like I went quite heavy handed on this. Um, but yeah, just in general, I just don't like the way my hair feels. And this has just made my hair feel honestly more dry um, which is a bit worrying, you know, as, as a review for the hyaluronic acid um, hair like hydrating treatment. Yeah, my, my hair feels more dry. It just feels like it has like not much movement in it. Like it just feels a bit flat and lifeless in a way. Yeah, I really hate being so harsh, but you know, I just have to be totally honest on how I feel like these are performed. Of course, this is a first impression. So maybe in the future with more use of these products, maybe I might, you know, change my mind. Um, if there's anything that you have like tip wise, like please let me know in the comments below. If I'm, you know, use one of these products like completely wrong, let me know in the comments below and I'll try the ways that you suggest. Um, but yeah, this is just my initial first impressions um, of these products. But anyway, thank you guys so so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up if you aren't already make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah. bye